Tamar, can you explain to us how did you get into specializing in AI? So I've been in the tech industry for the past 15 years, AI the last five, and I started out in ed tech. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I started out there is because I noticed that there was a gap. I noticed that there was a gap between who was creating the technology versus who was actually consuming the technology. Mm -hmm. And now with AI accelerating, we're seeing the same things happening, where we are seeing such amazing products being born and used in the classrooms, but they don't always represent and reflect the communities that uh, use them. And so that's why I'm in AI right now, is to really help to create more inclusion in the space. How can parents use AI and help their children in their education, but mm -hmm. also without them solely relying on AI? So with parents, they don't have to fear it at all. The two things that are most important are curiosity and engagement. So parents can start by using artificial intelligence with their child, prompting it, asking it questions, asking if the answers reflect balanced perspectives, is it accurate, is it age appropriate, and moving along through there. But the most important thing is that AI can be used for an array of tools. So building critical thinking skills, problem solving, creative thinking but the student has to take the next step and they have to take those responses and build it in their own voice. So we never want the child to ever lose their voice when they're using AI. How can a parent, if they want to, you know, mm -hmm. explore that avenue of using AI, do that if they're not tech savvy? They don't have to be tech savvy. Mm -hmm. It's really about engagement. It's really about being curious and asking questions. As parents, we teach our children tools, skills every day. This is just another skill for them to add to the toolbox. So I created something called the AI Parent Safety Scorecard. It's really a tool to give families an opportunity to assess the platforms and the tools before they actually start using them. So there's four main pillars, privacy, bias awareness, accuracy in sources, and age development and fit. So with the scorecard, they would be able to add a rating that will give them a either safe to use, use with guidance, or completely avoid. Mm. So this is something that I would encourage parents to really examine before they actually start to allow their child to use any platform. 